Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Vanessa this is Nessa CX Beauty and today we're gonna be doing a review and I did two wear tests on the brand new She Glam Skinfinite Hydrating Foundation this is the component right here the brand She Glam is actually part of the Shein brand the fashion company brand and you can actually buy their makeup on the same website that you buy their clothing which is so crazy to me but their first foundation that they released their matte foundation got so many amazing reviews they have rave reviews that i had to get my hands on the hydrating one because this is more catered towards my skin type i am dry skin so i thought that this one would be my best bet for something that i would potentially like but i got the shade golden they did release 30 shades so that's a bunch of shades and this component for nine dollars looks very luxurious i don't know how they do this this is a glass bottle right here has a very nice cap and a pump now for the claims it is medium buildable coverage it's a hydrating formula with a natural glow finish barely there kind of feeling i am all about barely there feelings because i do not want to feel the makeup on my skin although i want a ton of makeup on my skin and it's alcohol free and fragrance uh free honestly on their website this foundation does not claim to be long wearing at all that is not a claim that is nowhere on their website at all but spoiler alert I did put this foundation on yesterday, so I will roll you a clip on how this looked, I think 9 and 12 hours later. I honestly forgot to film myself putting this on my face the first day, but I had to film myself at the end of the day, so we're going to cue the clip right now. Alright y'all, so this is not the day that I am reviewing this product. But I really did want to show y'all how it performed the first day that I used it. Although I didn't show every product that I used today. It is currently October 5th, Tuesday, 7.55pm. I finished my makeup application at around like 850 So we've had this foundation on for around 11-ish hours. And I just looked at my face and I was like excuse me like excuse me this foundation wore beautifully today like everything on my face looks perfect except maybe my smile lines but like not bad 11 hours in i look stunning and I'm going to go and get my mask that I was wearing today because I did wear a mask for a lot of my day because I went to work. This is the mask that I've worn all day. There is wear here on the nose, but minimal wear everywhere else. Just to show y'all how I put this mask on. I had this on for a while, had a meeting with it on. And y'all this is not bad comparatively to other foundations with masks on so Shein, she glam i don't know what y'all did but this is a beautiful first day i can't even i don't know i i'm like speechless i had to take my freaking camera and show y'all that my face looks this good 11 hours in no touch-ups mask nine to five job and y'all it's midnight and i've had this foundation on for over 12 hours and i still look good well not me the foundation still looks good so my mind is blown but I'm about to go to sleep and we're gonna try this foundation out for real in an actual review 
tomorrow. As y'all can tell, I was very, very impressed by this on the first day. And honestly, my full face was a full face of kind of she glam because I did use this foundation, I did use the concealer, and I did use their under eye powder and face powder. So the fact that my face looked like that after 12 hours, I had to do a wear test today. So I will show you how I applied the makeup and how it wears throughout the day. So if you're interested in seeing that, just continue watching. Start off the face, I primed with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin E Enriched Face Base. And then I went in with the shade Golden in the Skinfinite Foundation. I showed y'all how liquidy the texture is, but this went on beautifully. I did not have to build it up. It was just a one and done kind of situation and it left my skin looking very natural, very glowy. Then I went in with the She Glam Concealer in Coconut Flakes and this one was definitely a good shade for myself in terms of a brightening shade. The concealer also covered well and looked very beautiful with the foundation. And then I went in with the Insta Ready Powder under my eyes. And followed up with the loose powder in all of the other areas that I put my concealer in. Then for the rest of my face, I went in with my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Press Powder in the shade Tan. And then to top it all off, I went in with my One Size Beauty Setting Spray. And this was my completed face all right y'all so the face is complete and the time of completion is 8 59 a.m and we all know the true test of a foundation or any makeup product is the test of time so we will be checking in throughout the day to see how this performs I'm going to work, I'm going to be wearing a mask, and we're going to do all of that jazz. I did my makeup exactly the same as I did yesterday to see if I get the same results. And yesterday I had, a, I had this on for 12 hours, so I just wanted to show y'all how I do my face and how flawless this looks right now. Honestly, like this foundation, and this powder from She Glam, super, super nice. Also, this concealer, super nice. But we're here for the foundation wear test, so I shall be back. I'll be checking out throughout the day. Hello, y'all. We are back. It is the end of the day. It is currently 9.30 p.m. There you go. So that means that we've had this foundation on for like 12 and a half hours. And y'all, look at how my face is looking after these 12 and a half hours. Of course, my nose rubbed off again due to the mask. This also happened yesterday, but I think that my skin still looks stunning. Yes, some oils are seeping through, but at the 12 and a half hour mark, this foundation is stunning, like beautiful. I don't understand what they put in this foundation to make it so amazing. In between my brows, although oily, looks really good. There's no line where my wrinkle, my premature wrinkle is. That one, if a foundation doesn't like my skin, it usually marks up a line right here. This one did not do that at all. My cheeks look wonderful. My nose is a bit removed, but I'm okay with that because I wore a mask for a long time today. Um, but my forehead still looks good. I, I really like this foundation, y'all. I thought I would want the matte one more, but this one, their hydrating foundation, is actually a great choice for me having dry skin and i don't know y'all 12 and a half hours in let me know what y'all think this looks like on me i personally think it looks really freaking good this is performing above average and i would say that i give this like an a minus like the nose 
gives it the A minus, but I understand the nose because of the mask. But I'm still gonna give it an A minus because of my smile lines, even though they're not terrible. They're there, you can see them. They're a little bit, you know, accentuated by the foundation, but it's nothing serious at all. None of my other lines are being accentuated, and I generally think that this is a really good foundation. And it performed well two days in a row, basically me wearing my foundation for like 12 hours because your girl did not sleep yesterday. And I woke up very early today to go to the gym, but I'm a fan. I can see myself using this over and over again. I think I found my new favorite foundation for right now. But yes, I highly recommend this foundation and that is all I have for y'all today. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.